Hey guys, so I totally feel like Lana right now. I'm filming in my bathroom and I was gonna film my June favorites, but um, I did something kind of fun to my hair. Not for the video, like I was getting ready for the day and I just um, was bored, so I was doing something different to my hair, which this style will be in my June favorites and I just had a feeling that I would get questions about how I did it or if I could show a hair tutorial, so um, I decided while well, I was like, halfway done to just show you what I did. I didn't think you needed to see like me doing my entire head because I've been doing the same thing all the way around. Um, but I get, always get questions about my hair. I'm not like, I don't know anything about hair. I really don't. If you want to see more hair tutorials, I would say go check out the Luxie Sisters. I'll link their channel below. That's all they do. They do do some makeup on their other channel, but they always do hair tutorials and I've learned so much from them. Um, but I just thought, whenever I wear my hair different in a video, I get questions about it or I get asked to do a tutorial. So rather than having to do it all over again, I just figured I would just kind of pick up where I left off and show you the rest of it. Um, so I hope that some of you guys might want to see this. I feel like there's a million and one tutorials on how to get this style. But like I said, um, people that have watched my videos always tend to seem to ask how I did it. So I just thought... I don't know if this is a totally wasteful video, but I just thought I would show it in case there was at least one person that cared to know how I did it. Um, I'm in my bathroom, as you can see, so I apologize if there's like an echo or the lighting isn't good. I really didn't like plan to do this, so I just flipped my lights on and hopefully, hopefully this is a go. So basically, I use this curling iron and it's from D Fabulous. I was sent this when I, f this was like the first company that ever sent me, um, products to try like when I first started YouTube I never actually did a video on them because they didn't ask me to they just asked me um, like for feedback on their products but um, I don't even know where you can buy these if I can find a link I will put it below but um, it's it I thought it was a clipless at first but it does have a clip but it's very different it's very thin I would say it's even less than one inch um, so that's going to give you the different type curls. If you wanted um, like wider wavier curls, I would go for a thicker curling iron. Um, I'm not going to be using the clip. I'm going to be using this more as like a conical wand, which if you're not familiar with a conical wand, it's the wands that don't have a clip. There's just a barrel and you wrap the hair around with your hands. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I basically, to start out, I'll just show you. I sectioned my hair off and I did the lower section on both sides. Um, I haven't even done this right side, but I did the lower section and then I just I just sectioned it off in two sections because not that I'm in a rush, but I just wasn't trying to make this harder than it has to be. Um, so now I just have my top section, my right side. Also, I should tell you that last night I took a shower and I just combed it out and went to sleep. So this is what I would wake up with, and you guys have seen this in other videos before, like if I don't blow dry my hair or do any kind of styling and I just wash it before I go to bed and then go to sleep. I have a natural wave to my hair, so usually in the mornings I'll just get up and throw some argon oil through it and just kind of make it a little bit piecey, but this is what it would look like if I didn't touch it. Um, and I find that it's a lot easier and the curls hold a lot better without product in it and without me putting any kind of heat, um, like hair dryer or straightening it. So I literally just woke up today, threw my hair up in a hot styled shower cap, took another shower and then just took my hair down and I'm just going with it. So if you have naturally pin straight hair, this might be a little bit more difficult for you to achieve this look. But if you have thicker, more textured hair like I do, I would just suggest letting it air dry or just sleeping on it at night and just kind of going with it the next morning. So basically, there's no system to what I do. If you want to curl towards your face, which is totally fine, you would put the iron on top and curl towards. But in this case, I want to curl away from my face. So I'm going to put the iron underneath. I hope you can see this. And I kind of pin it, hold it down and I just spirally wrap it. Be careful um, not to burn your fingers. A lot of times these things come with gloves, but I'm not using it because I like to live dangerously. <laughs> um, I just grab all different thickness pieces, like I'll grab thin pieces, thick pieces, and that way it just provides nice texture. 
Um, I don't make sure that all my sections are the same size. Like this is a little thick, so I'm gonna thin this one out and just do a thin piece, put it on top, hold it down, and just wrap. I hope you can see this. I'm more of a I can I can do some makeup tutorials in front of the camera when it comes to hair. This is not my specialty. Um, just you can see the fun little curl you get. So that's basically it. This is all that I do. This is what I did um, around the whole rest of my head. I think I'm too tall. For once in my life, I'm too tall for this. I should have got like a stool or something. Um, there's no trick to how long you want to hold it for. It's just kind of, this thing's been on for a while, so it's pretty dang hot. So I don't need to hold it that long. And that'd be something if I like burn myself on camera. I won't edit it out either because then you guys can have a good laugh at me. <laughs> okay. I just kind of got like sick of doing the same old thing with my hair so I went in my stash of hair tools and goodies and just thought I'll do something a little different today. So this is it. I hope you're getting a good feel. It's literally so easy. Um, you just wrap the hair around. And if you want to do, like if you want that more textured look, you could wrap some pieces towards your face, some pieces away. This is a thicker piece, but the curl is all the same. It's just a matter of how thick the piece is. But Eventually when your hair like all blends together and it's all finished, it looks really nice to just have those different textured pieces. So I'm going to just finish this up because I feel like you don't need to sit on here and watch it. And I'll just come back when it's all done and just kind of show you how I style it. Okay, so I just finished. I took off my little black sweater because I thought it was kind of hard to see my hair since it's so dark. So against the white, it'll be a little bit easier. So this is what it looks like. Um... Once it's all done, and you can just see they're really fun, spirally curls. Um, and I will tell you that this will probably hold for like, I usually wash my hair every other, sometimes I wash my hair every two days. This will probably hold me until the next time I wash my hair. Granted, the curls will loosen and um, they're kind of tight right now because I just did it, but they will loosen and eventually fall. So this is one of those nice styles that um, you can kind of rock for a couple days. So one thing, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it, there are some pieces that look a little frizzed out or I don't want to say fried. My hair's not fried, but it just looks a little um, fuzzy. So um, my little secret product for that is the Argan Oil. This is by Josie Marin. And I just get a teeny tiny bit, like maybe like three drops. And I just rub it in really good to my hands and I just kind of comb it nicely like finger comb it especially to the ends and this kind of just gets rid of all those um, frizzy looking flyaways it makes it look really nice and shiny and um, healthy try to stay don't put any in your um, roots because it's gonna look oily but I kind of just go through and finger comb my hair like that and it just gets rid of all those fuzzy looking pieces that stick out or fly away. Okay, so the next thing, this part, I'm not a fan of what's going on there. Now you guys know I'm somebody that really enjoys playing with my hair, so, you know, granted I'm probably gonna be flipping it back and forth all day today, but um, for now I'm just gonna kind of try to do like more of a side part and then comb back this top part to get rid of that part. So just to keep it there, um, this is my favorite hairspray. I told you guys that it's the Tresemme um, Trade 2 Spray All Day Humidity Resistance. Um, and I'm not sure where I got this, but I would guess you can find it at a drugstore. And I'm just going to give light sprays, and especially here, to hold that part over. And then again, just spray here to hold the curl because it is friggin' hot outside. Um, 
I don't use a lot of this because I really don't like the feel of hairspray, but I use enough to just kind of hold it in place. I don't like when it feels like straw, um, but this spray really doesn't do that. So if you want like a piece off your face, you can spray it like that. Um, I look like, I don't know. Um, so there you go. That is how I do my hair. This is how you will see my hair in my June favorites video. So I hope that this was helpful to you. If you guys have like different curling iron, use whatever curling iron you have. Even if it does have a clip, you can just pretend that it's not there, ignore it, and just use the barrel. Um, and like I said, you'll get different spiral size curls depending on the different size barrel that you use. But use whatever you have. I'm not telling you need to go out and buy this exact curling iron or this exact with you go to Walmart and buy a really nice curling iron for like 20 bucks. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope some found it helpful and it was somewhat enjoyable and I will see you in my next one. Bye.